relation between maximum height and horizontal range of a projectile relation between h max and r now we can draw the diagram of a projectile which is thrown from ground this is the projectile of mass m which is thrown from the point o with the initial velocity u and this projectile will describe this type of parabolic trajectory or path the projectile traverses the parabolic trajectory and strikes the ground again at this point and the horizontal can be denoted by the straight line ox ox and the projectile is thrown with the initial velocity u from the point u of uh, the ground u is the initial velocity with which the projectile is thrown at an angle theta with the ground this initial velocity u is resolved into two rectangular components or two mutually perpendicular components vertical component of the initial velocity u is uy and the initial velocity u uh, it makes an angle theta with the ground that means the projectile is thrown with the initial velocity u from the ground at an angle theta the horizontal component of initial velocity u is ux which is equal to u cos theta the vertical component of the initial velocity is uy which is equal to u sin theta now we can denote the vertical direction uh, that is we can denote the axis oy which is the vertical direction which is the vertical direction and the the projectile has two dimensional motion one motion is along x axis another motion is along the vertical axis or y axis when the projectile reaches to the point a that is at the highest point uh, a is the highest point and the projectile uh, reaches at the point a and the maximum height attained by the projectile at the point a is h max this is this line or this vertical line is the maximum height a in is the normal which is drawn from the maximum height point a on the ground and we can denote the maximum height attained by the projectile at the highest point a the projectile of mass m has a tendency to move along this tangent at prime along the tangent at prime with the velocity v v is the final velocity v is the final velocity at the highest point a along the tangent a x1 and we can denote the maximum height h max at the point o time t equal to 0 and at the point a that is at the point n t is equal to t1 capital t1 which is the time of ascent t1 is the time taken by the projectile to move from o to a during upward motion and uh, b is the point at which the projectile strikes the ground with the velocity v prime with the velocity v prime this is the direction along which uh, the projectile has the velocity v prime v prime is the velocity with which the projectile strikes the ground at the point b now we can denote horizontal range r is the horizontal range this is horizontal range r we can denote the horizontal range r that is the distance between the two points o and b r is the horizontal range that is r here capital r or r in upper case is the horizontal range of the projectile that means the uh, horizontal displacement of the projectile is the horizontal range or the distance between the two points O and B is the horizontal range R. H max is the maximum height attained by the projectile. H max is the maximum height. R is the horizontal range. And we have to relate between H max and R. That means we have to relate between maximum height H max and horizontal range R. Now we can write down the expression of maximum height which is H max equal u square sine square theta divided by 2g 
H max is the maximum height attained by the projectile when the projectile is at the point A. R is the horizontal range which is equal to u squared sin 2 theta divided by g. Now sin, uh, sin 2 theta is equal to 2 sin theta cos theta and cos 2 theta is equal to cos 2 theta is equal to 2 uh, cos square theta minus sin square theta is equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1 is equal 1 minus 2 sin square theta. So in place of r what we can write uh, r is h max is equal to u square sin square theta divided by 2g and r is equal to u square 2 sin theta cos theta divided by g. r is the maximum uh, uh, r is the horizontal range which is equal to u square sin 2 theta uh, sin, uh, 2 sin theta cos theta divided by g. Now h max by r is equal to u square sin square theta divided by 2g into g divided by 2 sin theta 2u square sin theta cos theta. So finally we get h max as finally we get h max by r as 1 by 4 tan theta 1 by 4 tan theta. So uh, this is the ratio between h max and r that means h max by r is equal to 1 by 4 tan theta. This is the relation between maximum height h max and horizontal range r of a projectile thrown from ground. That is h max by r is equal to 1 by 4 tan theta. Additional information, uh, generally h max is less than r, maximum height is less than horizontal range. If theta equal 45 degree, then h max will be equal to 1 by 4 r that means maximum height projectile of the projectile will be 1 by 4 times of horizontal range h max and this is horizontal range r and generally h max is less than r h max is less than r if theta equal 75.96 degree if theta equal 75.96 degree in that case h max will be equal to r that means maximum height attained by the projectile will be equal to horizontal range of the projectile 